Okay. So if you notice that you are in a limiting story, let's imagine that um, there is a business opportunity and your story is it's going to take a really long time and you're noticing that there's resistance. One thing I really help people look for is internal conflict. Part of you wants it and part of you doesn't, right? This is the one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. So in this example, part of you knows this is a great opportunity and feels excited. So part of you really wants it, but part of you feels like it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to take a really long time. And you just don't know if you have the bandwidth. You don't know that this is a road you want to go down. You are now in internal conflict. So when you're in internal conflict, you're aware that there's the positive side. And then the negative side will always include a limiting story. In this case, the limiting story is it's going to be hard. It's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a long time. If you knew that the opposite were true, if you knew that it was actually going to be really easy and it was going to happen really quickly, if you move into the expansive story, there's three questions that you can ask to unlock your creative brain, right? Our highest levels of thinking are in our prefrontal cortex. When we are feeling stressed or overwhelmed or in resistance, the blood from our prefrontal cortex will drain into our amygdala and we will lose access to the part of our brain that we need to do our most complex problem solving, right? So the time you really need the prefrontal cortex is often the time you lose it. So part of how we re-engage is we ask this question. If the opposite were true, if I knew in fact that this was not going to take a lot of work at all, that there was going to be either a shortcut or there was going to be an easy way, if I knew it wasn't going to take a lot of bandwidth, where would I begin? How would I think about it differently? And who would I ask for help? Just asking those questions alone will unlock the limiting mindset or will will take you from a limiting mindset to unlock an expansive mindset. If anybody's ever seen the movie Limitless, you know, he like takes the pill and all of a sudden has access to our full brain. We have so much brain power that we're not using. We want to unlock like Limitless. And the first step is to move from a limiting story where if you believe that it's going to take a lot of work, what types of options are you going to look for? Ones that are going to take a lot of work. If you believe it's going to take a long time, what type of context are you going to look for? What types of decisions? So you're limited by the types of creative solutions that you're able to come up with. And so when you step into an expansive story, you start thinking differently. And all of a sudden, things will start to change. You'll come up with better ideas, right? And the who will I ask for help? That might mean that I delegate something to someone on my team. That might mean I ask a friend who, you know, what they think. That might mean I reach out to a business mentor and ask their opinion. But it's really just starting to open and expand the way that we think about things to really unlock that complex problem solving and creative potential. So when you ask that question, it's a long answer. When you ask that question for the how, I think part of it is being committed to identifying your limiting stories, moving into an expansive story, and then start to ask really high level questions that will help you to move into that higher level mindset. 